Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm on Teresa and today we are going to talk about the books that are read for two readathons. One is Vikas Book Uplothon and one is Popsy Readathon. I will link all the description in the description down below of both the readathons. So for Book Uplothon there were four um, like uh, prompts and we had to read uh, like if we could read one book we could double up there was no such rule so i basically doubled up and for that first uh, the prompt was read a book which is paranormal horror or magical realism and for that i chose stephen king's elevation i got this book for like 50 rupees back when uh, last year october during navratri so i was looking for an occasion to read this this is a really really short book i read the kindle and it is like 100 pages almost so uh, here we follow a man from a really small town in USA South USA probably uh, and he is starting to lose weight and which is mysterious because there are no visible uh, like things happening to him on his body like there's nothing visible like he's still stout he's still like you know like still well built and still has like a big protruding belly but there is no such visible things which are happening on his body but he's gradually losing weight and he predicts that one day his weight will be zero like zero kgs or zero lbs whatever so uh, so this is his journey and this book also deals with uh, the phobia that comes around surrounding his neighbor because his neighbor is a newly married lesbian couple who have just recently moved into town as and have opened a new restaurant but the restaurant is suffering very badly because of the fact that people are not coming in the restaurant of the taboo uh, because of the taboo that they are a newly married lesbian couple so this this book was not a very very good book I would say like I did not enjoy this book at all and it's one of the most disappointing reads of this year for me but uh, if you want something which is whimsical and uh, which has no uh, like background and such and uh, you have no idea what the hell is going on and you really want to read Stephen King but you don't want to read something which is like hefty because his books are very very chunky but this is a very short one so I guess you can give this a try the next was a book which is on your TBR and for that I chose the prequel to the Chronicles of Narnia that is the magician's nephew I literally cried after I read this book because um, how to explain the chronicles of narnia have had a bigger impact on me when i was a kid than harry potter or any other series for that matter i love the chronicles of narnia much more than i love harry potter this can be an unpopular opinion but it is my opinion a lot of people say and it is a belief that c.s lewis based the chronicles of narnia on the bible and aslan is basically jesus I don't care who the hell Aslan is but Aslan is my favorite character and he has had a profound effect on me. So I thought when I have the entire series why not start it eventually and when I did I literally cried and this has really pretty illustrations too. So this is the first book where we follow how Narnia was formed and why there was a magical cupboard through which Lucy went and, and spotted Narnia and a lot of other things if you have read the, Narn the Chronicles of Narnia or you have seen the movie there are a lot of things which happen which don't make sense but if you read the prequel you understand what is going on so I read this book and I was so 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 happy that I did and um, I actually uh, cried very badly after I read this book because I couldn't believe that uh, it was such a long time that I did it and there were so many things that I didn't remember and it gave me this beautiful feeling that usually comes when with nostalgia and other such all those good stuff so if you're looking for something really really nice and lush and the writing style of CS2 is just awesome so yeah I highly recommend you to finally pick up the Chronicles of Narnia and the next was actually uh, two I doubled up two prompts one is a book which is a recommendation and a book which is a divorce read and for that I chose 
A Birthday Girl by Murakami. Murakami is a Japanese author and he is the master of magical realism and this was recommended to me by many people who said that if you want to read Murakami you may as well start at Birthday Girl. So here we follow, actually I'll read what is in the back because it's 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 uh, like two lines it's like one rainy tokyo night a waitress's uneven full 20th birthday takes a strange and fateful turn when she's asked to deliver dinner to the restaurant's reclusive owner uh, actually this book was very weird very whimsical and a lot of things don't match up and don't i uh, like it was very difficult to understand what the hell is going on but since it's magical realism there are a lot of things which you won't understand what is going on but you have to assume a lot of things it was really a wonderful experience and i really look for like i'm looking forward to reading the other three books norwegian word kafka and the short and killing common data that i actually physically own and the rest uh, the next three books that i'm going to talk to you about are the three books that are read for popsy readathon popsy readathon is pop culture readathon which uh, pop culture readathon hosts it i will link that twitter down below so you guys can check all the good stuff out for yourselves so here we have different bingo boards and i chose thriller so we had to read you know in the bingo style either vertically or horizontally so i chose the first vertical one we could double up so I doubled up for one uh, okay so the first prompt was Nancy Downs book with a power hungry character this is uh, and uh, actually this one I doubled up so uh, this is this book I read for Nancy Downs book with a power hungry character and also it's just a bunch of hocus pocus a book including magic and for that I read Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo. This is the second book in the Grisha Wars trilogy. Um, I personally liked this book a little less because usually the middle books are not so good. The first book and the last book are really, really good. I read the first book, you know, for like just uh, the month of July and I read the third book for uh, the reading rush and I read the second book for popsy readathon i like the uh, color scheme of the second book much more than the first and the third one i don't know why and this book also has a dragon so and i really like lee bardugo's writing so it was a very very fast read for me because lee bardugo is one of my favorite fantasy authors and i loved six of crows and i have finally finished the grisha wars trilogy and i'm really looking forward to reading the king of scars and uh, the second book uh, that i read was i know what you did last summer and for that you had to read read a 2019 release and for that i read the silver serpent which is the last book in the agatha Audlow series but before talking about this i'll talk about the last uh, prompt which is Sydney Prescott read a book with a badass main character and for that I read the first book in the series which is Agatha Audlow The Secret Key this is the first book this is the third book and I read the second book Murder at the Museum for the reading rush so here we follow Agatha Audlow who uh, has like she's a 13 year old detective and she uh, like she has been a def detective for as long as she can remember and uh, she uh, has had a profound effect on her uh, because of her mother and her name uh, like Agatha has been after Agatha Christie and she can like you know talk to Hercule Poirot if I can make you understand so in this first book uh, we follow her as she's going to school she sees that an old woman is knocked down by uh, you know she's hit and run but uh, she dip, uh, suspects that it was not a hit and run it was an attempted murder and on the, on the other hand she sees that uh, all the lakes and all the rivers and all the sewages are getting filled with red algae which is becoming very difficult for London because there is no water. She lives in London and her father is the head gardener of Hyde Park. Can you believe that? She lives in Hyde Park. So whatever. So, uh, so she suspects that there can be some connection and she goes on and she, you know, like she... Like catches the person who does everything you know like this is a very scooby-doo like kind of a feeling it will give you and if you're a very big fan of scooby-doo or truly devious or charlotte holmes 
or Hercule Poirot you actually might like because there are a lot of Hercule Poirot references in this book like a lot a lot a lot uh, so yeah I highly highly recommend you to check this book out actually the entire trilogy out because this is one of my favorite favorite books of all like of 2020 and 2020 has been a really uneventful year so yeah and the third book uh, which is i know what you did last summer this is a two, this is a book which i had released in 2019 this is the final book here we follow um, agatha ordlo as she uh, goes to this uh, like museum for um, you know this art class but when she comes back she sees that uh, she actually she is appointed by someone and I won't say who is she appointed by because it's a spoiler and uh, one of the like curators of the art museum is kidnapped and uh, she feels that there is a strong connection of that kidnapping to her mother's missing seven years back or mother's murder seven years back to be honest so she is headstrong about the fact that she will find out in this last book finally what happens to her mother because in the second book uh, she found out a little bit in the first book she found out a little bit so you know like she's trying to piece everything together because it's been seven years and her mother has not been found she uh, like she perhaps died when she was seven years because in this book she's 14 so this is the final book it was lovely I finished it yesterday and I'm still smiling as to how good this book is like the like how to say the writing is so so lush and beautiful and everything is so so pretty like just look at the book it's so pretty like it's it's very pretty and she she always bear, wears this beret on her head you can you can see in both the books i'm actually put like my phone like my dad's phone actually is being you know like and i keep books and then i keep the phone and then i film so i can't show you the second book but that's also very pretty so i highly recommend you to check the series out in case you want to read a middle grade mystery which is just awesome and i highly highly recommend you because this is one of my favorite of 2020 and if i ever make a video you can be pretty sure that this is going to be on there so those are the six books that i read for both the readathons i actually thought i will read eight books but it turns out i might no actually i don't want to honestly because i could double up and it was happening it was just you know it just went on so i just did it doesn't make sense but i know so i do i'll make a june uh, july wrap-up video where i'll discuss about the rest of the books so if i make the july wrap-up video which i guess i will i will not be talking about the books that i spoke about in this or the one that i spoke about in the reading rush so that will be exclusive of the books that i read in july so do check it out bye bye have a great day ahead stay safe